All right, I just took the timing plate off of this Farmall distributor. And the first thing I see is that the spring doesn't exactly look like it should. Um, I don't know how long it's been laying in the bottom, but I'm pretty sure it's not doing its job. The other thing I noticed is that this weight isn't attached to anything. Um, this weight is, but the weight pin is so loose it comes right out. There is no way you can see how it badly it's egged out. Yeah, maybe not my phone won't focus. This thing has been like this for probably as long as I've been alive. Look at how egged out those holes are. That should be a perfectly round hole. It's supposed to be attached to a pin. And on this side, the pin was laying in place, but it wasn't attached. It can move the washer. On this side, the pin is actually broken off inside. But it's not even there. Uh, there's some miscellaneous parts in the bottom. Uh, there's a washer that's squashed. It's not at all round, but I have no clue. I have no clue where that other spring went. <clears throat> Probably got ground up. And here and again, this has been like this for a long time. If if these parts are not functioning correctly, then you're running the wrong timing. It's either over advanced or under advanced. Uh, it'll cause poor starting, rough idle, it can cause it to stall uh, when it's under a load, uh, it can cause damage to the engine for sure, uh, even if it's a original low compression engine. Uh, timing is adjustable for a reason. So, again I just had checked out the, um, the John Deere distributor and that thing was junk, and uh, this one is also, again that's that's been almost a dozen distributors I've torn apart in a very short time period and I've only found a few of them that function even remotely correct so and I'll keep tearing them apart and keep looking at them but uh, this broken spring uh, being wrapped around the mechanism is actually very common